good fit. Man, oh man, that is a good fit. Do you know what it's for though? This is the arbor that is going to be the floating reamer holder, the design that uh, Nigel from Go Create Hobbies um, put into the TMC 2020. That was his entry, and he made the plans available um, for us, just yeah, for a donation if you can afford it to his channel. Um, and the plans are quite good. Um, I have had the plans for a while and I wasn't going to film, I was just going to make this off camera just for a project, you know, on my own. Then I thought, bugger it, I will. So all I've done, this is the first piece I've done, is I've just made this into a Morse Taper 3. I followed Nigel's, um, I watched his video and followed the way he set his compound to the Morse Taper 3. And I've done it, which I've never done the same with, as he does with dial indicators, and I've done it with, on like when I set mine, and it is absolutely spot on Mickey Mouse. Um, I have used, I've put some bearing glue on it, and it is spot on. Yeah, I can't complain. It's probably the best Morse taper I've ever cut, to be honest with you. And it does help with a lathe that's got long enough travel in the compound to cut it in one go without having to put a relief in the middle and take a second cut at it. And um, having a lathe with rigidity. So, so I'm going to turn, take the chuck off now, spin it around, put it in this. This is a Morse taper 5 to a Morse taper 3. And I'm going to machine the features on the other end. That I'm really impressed with that fit. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I've spun it around and stuck it in a Morse 5 to Morse 3. This here is excess material. It's got to come off. And it's got to have a, a uh, inch and three quarter. I'm going to go inch and three quarter by 22 pi thread. Which is going to be 8 millimetres long. And then the front section here is going to be down to 40 millimetres neat, it says on the plans. So imperial and metric again, which I love it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this front section down to the minor diameter of the thread. So because I haven't got a, any other gauge to check this with and get my depth right, um, I don't have thread gauges, uh, thread wires or thread mic or anything. I'll just turn it down to the minor diameter. And as soon as it starts to touch that, so I should be right. So thanks very much, Craig, for the hint on that, mate. Appreciate that. So I'm going to leave this excess on here for now. Um, do the thread next and then do the, the 40 mil diameter shoulder in there. Should be 1.689 and to me I've actually hit that number on the knock on the knocker. Come on you bastard. One point six eight eight and a half. And these don't read absolutely spot on, but that is close enough for me. So this is 16 millimetres wide from here to here. Eight millimetres on this end, on this end here, will be threaded. This front portion of the eight, this eight millimetres at the front, that's going to be down to 40 mil. This here material is just excess to come off. So I'm going to do the thread first, then peel this off and then do the 
do the hurdy gurdy down there first. Um, and do the last, sorry, do the 40 mil diameter on there last. Probably all last about front, but it'll work. You can see where it was touching here. So this is actually, I'll machine this down to the minor diameter. And them threads look pretty darn good. So I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to push me. Push me like any further. That new um, threading tool is absolutely beautiful. What I'll do now is I'll turn all the excess off the front here. And then I've got to turn eight millimeters off this thread. So I won't bore you with all that, I don't think. I've set up a stop down here, a hard stop. So I've got roughly around 170 odd thou to come off this to bring it down to 40 mil. There we go, metric imperial again. So 85 thou roughly on the dial. Yeah, 0.15 up. Close enough or what? I'm not going to try and chase that last bit. Okay, all I've got to do now is fix this straight up here. Put a lead on that and then uh, put a chamfer on this edge here. Then we can take that and put it over in the mill. The chamfer on this edge is in the plan as 15 degrees, which I've set the compound, and one and a half millimetres. So I'll have a crack at that. I reckon that might have been just a bit too far. Oh boy, geez, it's not. That's it though. Oh. Well, I screwed that up. I just got to have a look through all my stuff now, see if I can find a large enough ball bearing somewhere. It says for 8 mil ball bearing, I think it says, but I don't know whether I've got one. Okay, that's just sitting proud. Here we are at over at the mill drill. Um, I've got this on the end of the Morse taper is a tiny, about five mil long. It's um, it's flat and you've got a taper on it. It's parallel with the front face. Yeah, I don't know if that's the right terminology or not, but anyway. So I've got it clamped on that in this old three jaw. 
I haven't got a rotary table. Machined up a dowel and located it. And that is that is a nice fit that down. Um, set up a dial indicator because I've got to put two reamed five mil holes um, 25 mil apart so 12 and a half mil for each side of this for each side of center and that's going to be where the drive pins go so just sort of show you how determined and how how I'm going to move it and do all that sort of stuff uh, I'd love to have a rotary table that's on the wish list so um, got to shift over 12 and a half mil 492 cow drill and ream a uh, 5 mil hole 6 millimeters deep so let's do it this is that dowel here's a, a nice fit oh it fits. She four hundred ninety two thousands. Yeah, four hundred ninety two. Four ninety two. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's it. Yep. So now I've got to come back to zero on this indicator. And they go preload it. You go four ninety two the other way.
should have shared for that hole, but I didn't. I better do this one and then move it back and do that one, I suppose. I've got a piece of 4140, just a, an off-cut slug. Um, it's going to become the collar. Um, now I'm a fraction. I've come over. I've got enough for the length, but work holding is going to be a bit of a problem. You'll see that probably later, I guess, to put the um, features on the outside. Take a bit of uh, take a bit of nothing out, but I've got to knock this out to 33.3 mil. So get into it. Down to me last sixteen thou to take out of this, or sixteen thou on the dial, so thirty-two thou. Um, I haven't filmed it because it's been a squealing like a banshee. This thing. Um, tried everything, but anyway, everything I know of, anyway. But it's just almost there now. So, um, yeah, down to me last sixteen thou. So I'm just going to take really light cuts. Uh, and um, yeah, take really light cuts from here on. I'm going to measure this and I'll be back. As best as I can measure it, I've got it out to 33.3 mil. Now, for 21.2 mil from this end, from this face, has to be opened up to 40 millimeters. So, do that next. I've just finished doing this 40 millimeter bore and absolutely surprised myself. Um, smack on the money. Do you think I'm a bee's doing it? Eh? Right on it. So that's good. 
I apologise if this looks a little yellow at the moment, but the, the light blew in me, um, and the light over the lathe, the bulb blew. And the only spare one I had was a bloody yellow bastard, like a, like a, well, they call them a warm white. I like the cool white. Um, I have to machine back, I machine out to the main, uh, to the minor diameter of the thread now. Um, I'll take that in a distance of 12 mil and then I've got to put a relief in there for the thread too so um, about 114 thou roughly to take out of here to bring it down to Shit happens. Shit finish. What more can I expect? That again. Fantastic. Just make sure I'm reading everything correctly. So good. Tend to be sixteen eighty nine. It's pretty much on the money for me. Um, it's probably a little bit hard to see. Uh, this here, this shoulder here, has to have a 20 degree taper or 20 degree angle put on it, which will blend the 20 degree taper will blend back into this corner. Um, I'm not going to be able to film it because I've just there's just no room by the time I jam this in there. Um, I just can't get the camera in a good enough spot to show you and be able to see myself. So. I apologise about that, but uh, I'll get it done and have a look after.
Okay, I've got to uh, machine this down to length now, so take the front off. And then I'll might follow Nigel's idea and try and set it up in the shape and put some marks across here. We'll see. We have the nut. I think work out a way to hold it now to put some lines across the top to make a grip. So, I'm having a cup of tea now, bugger it. Had enough. <laughs> 